From Timmy to Tony, from trios to solos, every Tarkov player has room for improvement. Tips won't make you instantly good at the game, but combine them with practice and they can quickly make a big difference. So now let's get into some rapid fire tips that can help any level of player. Pistols save lives, especially if you're using a bolt action sniper rifle. Not only can you maneuver better, but you can fire many more rounds. You can hotkey guns that fit in your rigs. Usually these are two or three slot items. Pulling out a pistol hotkeyed in your rig is faster than reloading. You can heal yourself and reload at the same time. While healing, press tab, right click and gun and hit reload. When you click or hotkey heal, it prioritizes limbs with fractures if the healing item can fix those, even if the limb's at full health, as opposed to minorly damaged limbs. To heal a limb that has HP missing, drag the healing item onto it. You can cancel heal by left clicking during the animation. Any HP restored will not be lost. If you do not complete the healing animation, then you will not fix a bleed or a fracture. Healing items have different characteristics. I mainly focus on how many hit points per second it heals and the use time. After you kill someone, look around the area because there's always one more person. Use extreme caution when entering buildings. People like to camp the entrances. Use the feather post effects to get a black and white feel when wearing night vision. ADSing slows down movement speed a lot. Your character in the bottom left shows you movement speed. Unless you're wearing an Alton, you should always wear contacts up. You are at an extreme disadvantage if you can't hear as far as other people. When you get flashing red in the bottom right corner of your screen, that means your weapon has malfunctioned. You need to inspect it and then fix the malfunction. The faster and longer you fire, the more your barrel heats up and the more durability will be lost. Any durability below 93, I believe, has the potential to malfunction. When you enter a raid, make sure that your gun has a magazine in it and make sure that your gun can fire the caliber in that magazine. Also, make sure to check your fire rate. Forget the loot. Keep track of where your team is at all times. Where are you, pal? Have a way to audibly hey! identify your team. We use voice lines. Use teammates to draw enemies in, or draw voice. enemies in yourself oh, for your God, teammates gone, to pick off. Use the enemy's impatience and aggression against them. Always go into raid with an objective. Select your kit based off what your objective is, and leave shortly after you're done. I normally don't do tips without solid evidence, but there are some jackets that appear to be better than others. When outnumbered, don't necessarily go for the strongest or the weakest, Go for the person who makes the first mistake. Isolate that person, neutralize them, and then it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. If you're struggling with survival, avoid reserve. There are so many player scavs and Gluhar and his guards have a bot. It may not seem like it, but Woods at Night has some fabulous loot. Rebinding the discard key allows you to delete things out of other players' rigs that you kill very quickly. Also, definitely change the emergency reload to be a different binding instead of R like control R or something. There's a slider for any key that you have to double press. That controls the maximum amount of time that it will wait for the second key press. The default is 0.3 seconds, so reloading will take a minimum of 0.3 seconds longer. If you're having performance issues, hit the tilde key and then type FPS space three and hit enter. Pay attention to anything colored in red. Killer, you know that boss in interchange? He seems to have a different voice every single raid. What's up with that? All the other bosses are consistent. One. When going up escalators and interchange, try jumping to get a quick peek and potentially aggro any bosses. Gravity will bring you right back into cover, nice and safe. Never fully trust anyone you didn't come into raid with. The dollar signs really make people do things they wouldn't normally do. But thanks Hex for using your scab karma. There are no rules in Tarkov, anything goes. So watch out for extract campers. To you extract campers out there, Thank you for wasting your time and your loot. If you're stuck on a hard task, feel free to use impact grenades and set an ambush. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Who needs a factory key? Flashlights still like to defy physics, so keep an eye out for them through the floor and the walls to spot your enemies. If you start seeing desync, try to leave the server as soon as possible and get into the next raid. I've never seen it get better within the same raid. There are some interesting spots that you can hide that are very hard to see. Search for these spots if you get shot out of nowhere. There's some interesting physics sometimes. You can get in some odd places. <laughs> My final tip is to be aware of the exploits and practice them while they're available because other people will use them against you. Now these could be patched up at any time, 
But first we have this bounce back peaky glitch where you double jump essentially. We have the double bounce glitch and the incredible dolphin dive. Using SJ6 to run around the map and do these all day. We have the air filtering unit that doesn't require any air filters to give you the 40% buff. And finally, we have the flashlight glitch, which makes the person on the other end of the flashlight seem like they're entering heaven. But the person holding the gun, it looks like this. Pretty unfair, right? Now this is another game breaking one in my opinion. I haven't done enough testing to see how widespread this is, but I have died to it and I've known about it for over a year and I submitted a comprehensive bug report to Battle State. It still hasn't been fixed. But anyways, you should know what the community is using to get an unfair advantage over the other people. And that's the last tip. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like and hit button. Consider subscribing for more Tarkov content in the future and I will see you on the battlefield. CZTL out.